Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I am gonna go over the products that I think I'm probably gonna purchase in the Sephora sale. So as I'm filming this, the Sephora sale is on April 1st. Their spring savings event is what I think they're calling it. I'll have all the information, all the details for the sale will be down below. But if you're a Rouge member, which I am, of course, because you know, I spend way too much at Sephora. Um, so I'm a Rouge member and that sale starts April 1st, which is as I'm filming this just a couple weeks away. So I do have a list. I'm gonna go through what is currently sitting in my cart. And then I've got a couple of products sitting on my wish list. As I've said in many videos this year, I am trying to purchase fewer products this year. I'm just trying to buy less stuff. However, I love Sephora, the sales that they do. Usually they do these sales uh, spring and fall. I just love them. It's not even that great of a deal. It's 20% off. It's not like it's a half price, <laughs> but I do really enjoy the sales. I love to buy stuff off Sephora. I could easily go in there and put a thousand dollars worth of stuff in my cart. Now to some that might be outrageous. If you love makeup like me, that will just, you'll be like, oh yeah, me too. I just, I love makeup. But let's get into the products that I have sitting in my cart. Now this list over the next couple of weeks will change, it'll evolve, stuff will go in, stuff will go out. But as I'm filming today, these are the products that I have sitting in there. Okay, let me pull it up on my phone. You guys, I did a bright lip to distract you from my messy hair. <laughs> is it working? Are you just paying attention to my fun bright lip and not looking at how messy my hair is? Okay, so currently I have 10 products sitting in my cart. I'll pop up little pictures because I don't of course have any of these. So some of these are repurchases and something that I did have in my collection that I used up a couple of months ago now I think is the, it's by Tarte and it's the Timeless Smoothing Primer. Now I do have a couple of smoothing primers in my collection, but this one from Tarte, it's, it's magic. It just does something the others don't. And so I, you know, I'm 47. I've got enlarged pores in this area. I get some texture where I have some wrinkles and I've noticed my makeup will really set into this area. So that Tarte Smoothing Primer really helps sort of just blur this whole area for me. I have the e.l.f. Putty Primer, that's pretty good. And I do have one from Clarins that it's okay, but I don't like any of those as much as I like this Tarte one, and it does come in a mini. So I've got the mini in my cart, it's $25. I am probably gonna pick that up for sure. And then another repeat for me is from Iconic London, and it's the Sheer Bronze Liquid Bronzer, and I wanna get it in the shade Caramel Glow. It's $37. I had one of those last year. I thought it had come in a box, like a BoxyCharm box, but do you know what? I think I actually got it in a Sephora favorite set. I knew I didn't buy it, like just picked it and, and purchased it because I, I didn't know anything about it. And it isn't a product that I would have gone out of my way to purchase, to be honest. I used that completely up. I couldn't stop using it. It is the most beautiful, soft, bronzed from within glow. I love it and I used it up. I probably used it up in six months actually and I am really missing it. It's. I don't talk, I don't think I talked about it a ton, but it actually was one of my favorite products I tried last year. I absolutely loved that. Okay, and then I do have, from the Sephora collection, I have an Outrageous Hydrating and Plumping Intense Lip Gloss. Now, unofficially, I am on a lip product no buy. Like I got a hundred lip products sitting here in front of me. It's ridiculous actually. And I'm getting to almost none of them. And I've got ones that are starting to turn and go bad. However, having said that, <laughs> I really want this lip gloss. So it's $16 and I picked the shade Inferno. And the thing, the thing is how I'm justifying this, you know, in my head is that it'll be 30% off in the sale. So Sephora collection items are going to be 30% off. So it's a little bit better of a savings. So I've had this sitting in here for a while actually, and I do, I really want to try it. So I think I probably will grab it just because, you know, it's not that expensive and 
I shouldn't, but I'm probably gonna. Okay, next up, another repurchase is the Olaplex number three. I usually get them off of Amazon because every once in a while on Amazon, they're two for 60. On Sephora, it is $38. So I'll get 20% off that. Right now, when I look on Amazon, they're $37 each because you know how Amazon prices go up and down. So I'll probably grab one of those because I can get 20% off the $38, which is still, you know, that's a better deal than the 37 off Amazon. It's a bond repair and I use it probably once a week. I'll put it on and then go over top of it with a hair mask and I really have noticed, I've been using that product for at least a couple of years and I really notice a difference in the strength of my hair. My hair just seems to do better if I use that product consistently. So it's that's a repurchase and I'm, I'm grabbing it here just because it's a little bit cheaper for me. Okay, and then the last repurchase is uh, Tower 28. It's their Beach Please Lip and Cheek Cream Blush and I'm getting it in the shade Magic Hour. I bought one probably last spring actually, in the last spring sale and I used it completely up and I miss it. I love it. It's probably my favorite blush of all time. It's so balmy and emollient and the shade is gorgeous. I, I love everything about it. I love everything about it. If I could only have one blush, that's the one for me. I love that. I have a lot of cream blushes that are fantastic and amazing and I love, but that one is special. That one for me just works so great. So. I'm gonna pick it up because, I, again, I'm missing it. Okay, let's talk about the new things that are in here. So I've got two foundations in here. Now I should also not be purchasing foundations. I tried a ton of foundations last year, but Urban Decay has the Hydromaniac Glowy Tinted Hydrating Foundation, and I picked up, or I have in here, the shade number 20, and it's Fair Neutral and it's $40, but the description is, a long wearing foundation infused with kombucha filtrate and marula oil for 30% more hydrated skin, medium coverage, and a glowy finish. Like honestly, that sounds like it was made for me. That's all the things I want. I mean, maybe that coverage at a medium is a little bit more than I want, but that sounds like it's gonna be amazing, and I've seen tons of people review it, and they absolutely love it. So. That's the foundation I was thinking I was gonna get, but then just today, I watched Linda from Glitter Follow, which go check her out if for some reason you're not familiar with her, she's fantastic. She put up a video trying the new Danessa Myricks foundation. It's called the Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. And I, right now in my cart, uh, I have the shade 6N and it's $46, so it's actually even more. I think I might get that one instead. It says, a skincare hybrid foundation with medium buildable coverage that effortlessly creates a natural looking skin-like glow. And she said it just made her skin look like that glass skin effect where it was perfected, but dewy and hydrated. And I think I'm probably gonna get that one. I don't know, I really want both of those, but I have set a limit for myself and I'm about $100 over right now. So <laughs> I have to, I Gotta get some things out of there. Okay, also what I really wanna try, so I have, to, I have to pick, I have to make some decisions. I also really wanna try LYS Triple Fix Brightening Concealer and I put in here the shade LN6. You guys, LYS, I think I've like just, I think I've liked everything I've tried actually. I really like that brand. And I saw Kelly Gooch here on YouTube talk about this concealer in a video that I watched today. And she, it was like in her top top, like she just loved it. It says a luxurious, rich, ultra creamy concealer that helps visibly brighten, conceal, and nourish the complexion with a skin-like finish. Again, that just sounds right up my alley. Like I love all of that. So it's only $24, which I feel like is a, you know, that LYS brand is a little more affordable as far as Sephora brand things go. Okay, and then also in here from Super Goop, I really wanna try the Glow Screen SPF. Now, the only thing is, so they do, they have a mini. And so it's the mini that I put in my cart. It's $26. I've actually wanted to try that 
um, sunscreen for a lot of years, but it's it's uh, fit, it's chemical. And so I normally only use a physical sunscreen, and I usually I react kind of poorly to a chemical. But I've seen so many people talk about how much they love that that I really want to give it a try. Okay, is that it? What else is in here? Uh, one more thing: the Sephora Collection Retractable Rouge Gel Lip Liner. Again, it's seventeen dollars, but it will be thirty percent off. And I want the shade number eleven. It's cherry. I have a feeling it's going to be very much like this. This is the NARS, are they called Velvet Matte Lip Crayon, I think. I love this. I love this color. I love this whole product. What I should do is get another one of these, but again, I'm trying not to purchase purchase a ton of lip things. So I I saw Jessica Braun here on YouTube talk about how perfect that shade is if you want a red lip. So it's again $17. It'll be 30% off. So I think I will grab that. Okay, now let's talk about the things that are sitting on my loves list. I don't think I have room to add any of these in. I think I'm already maxed out with the budget I've given myself with the products that are there. However, should I get a little bit of wiggle room? Bobbi Brown has a mini set of the Longwear Cream Shadows. There's three of them. It's $42. That looks gorgeous. I would love to have that. A long time product sitting here on my loves list is from Melt Cosmetics. It's the Digital Dust Duo Blush. Right now I have Raw Honey. It's mauve, bronze, and pink beige. It's $52.69. It's outrageous for a blush, but I've wanted that for so long. I love anything honey themed. It just sucks me right in. So I had had other, I had a different shade in here, but when I was looking at it today, I switched it to this one. I don't think I can add it in anyway. Honestly, I've got like another at least $200 sitting here, so I can't. Another product that I really wanna try is from Westman Atelier, and it's the iPod Eyeshadow Single, and it's in the shade Tabak. I watched Michelle Wong and she said this because she actually she has this and she was doing a you know pack with me video and she packed this and talked about how much she loved this but it's $42 I, th I think she said it was Tabak Tabak doesn't matter it's a warm bronze and it just looks gorgeous I would really really like to try that and then I've got a couple products from Sol de Janeiro in here I've got the Bomb Dia Bright body cream with vitamin C $59 that scent is probably my favorite scent for a body cream of all time I love the Sol de Janeiro body butters and this one smells like like tropical, but also spicy. And I love that combination, but I blow through that in like a couple weeks, right? So it's expensive. And then I also, from Sol de Janeiro, wanted to try the Brazilian Crush Cherosa 40 Bomb Dia Hair and Body Fragrance Mist, because I, I think that's the same scent. $26, not bad. It's not a huge, huge bottle. It's three ounces, but. And then from Dior, I wanted to try the Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder, $50. And I put one neutral in my in my loves list here. I want to try that because every time I watch a Samantha March video, she mentions it, so I want to try it. And then the last thing in here is from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's one of the beauty highlighter wands in Spotlight, which is like a rose gold, $52. So those are all the things that I have my eye on, and to be honest, some of the stuff that's on that loves list has, has it's been on there for a long time. I just never pulled the trigger on it. It might be that some of the things that are in my cart now go back on my loves list and something from my loves list goes back into my cart. Like I said, it's this constant revolving door and it will be right up until the night before the sale and then first thing in the morning I will place that order. So again, I, I have given myself kind of a $200 budget, so we'll, we'll see how, how well I do. I, again, just trying to purchase less and enjoy more of what I already have, but I love makeup, I love Sephora, I love this sale. It makes me think that I'm getting this great deal, which you're really, you're not. <laughs> so let me know down below what you guys are planning on picking up from the Sephora sale, if you're planning on picking anything up, or if you're skipping it, if you're like me and you're trying to purchase less, I'd love to hear all the details. I would love to hear any products that you think are well worth the splurge that some of these Sephora products are priced at. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, if you would subscribe, that would be amazing. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.